Hey everyone, welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. In my last video, what we did was go ahead and get 87 Slayer. As you can see here, just finished up the last task at Greater Demons. We're going to go ahead and try to get that Kraken task, as we have 1,500 Slayer points right here. But before we go to get another task, what I want to do is extend Kraken. Where are we at? And here we go, go ahead and extend those. We'll get a big task, and hopefully we can get a trident right on task. And see what we get first. So I'm not going to bore you with all of the tasks I had to skip, but I did end up getting a Black Dragons tax, which I was able to do at Baby Black Dragons, which was pretty simple. And I did get a pair of Tsar tasks, which I was able to switch over to Jad and able to get a free skip out of it, but overall it was a uh, pretty quick for me to get the Kraken task. Here we go. Tasks I've been waiting for for quite some time, been waiting weeks finally be able to kill them. And actually I only had to burn through about 300 points or so in order to do so, so not bad. Here we go with the first kill down. And water runes. This is actually my first time ever coming here to kill the little Kraken. I have the Kraken pet on my main account, but I've only ever killed the bosses. But as you can see, I'm using a prayer setup since you can protect from mage against these. Got about seven minutes worth of prayer that I can use. And since they have negative mage bonus, I have a plus two mage attack. It'll be pretty easy to kill them. As you can see, it's still pretty accurate without any mage attack. Oh, and I forgot to mention I did make some of the uh, Bracelets of Slaughter. I think I only need two of them per task, it seems like, but it gives me 30 charges where it's one in, I believe, five chance that it'll not count down on my uh, kill count. So I can, like, that right there doesn't count against me. I stayed at 144, but I can keep killing. Ooh, there it is. Uh, much quicker than I expected to actually get it. I pick that up and let's check the kill count. Go down to Kraken. Only 43. It's a 1 in 200 drop rate. The tentacle is 1 in 1200 here. But let's go ahead and get out of here. And when I come back, I'm actually going to go ahead and kill the bosses and hope to get an actual uh, Kraken tentacle. But that'll probably be later on, not tonight. So something I've put off doing for quite some time is doing Mage Arena 2. But before I can actually do Mage Arena 2, I need to do well the rest of Mage Arena 1, which I didn't have to do before. But now I need to cast Claws of Guthix and Saradoma Strike each 100 times. So here's the setup I have. I'm not too worried about dying since I do have plenty of Blood Runes now. Back when I did it with the uh, Zamarok uh, spell, that, I think I had to actually uh, scrounge around and hope I didn't die because I had about just enough runes back then. So that tells you about how long it's been since I've done this. But hopefully I'll see you back when these are completed. And that'll be Sarah Doman complete. I already finished Guthics. Not one PK right here back in the day, I remember, especially on a Saturday like it is right now. This place would have been booming back before uh, old school. When it was RuneScape 2, that is. And I was PKing out here all the time. We used to make some uh, decent money back when I was a, you know, half decent PKer. All right, and there is the symbol I need for uh, Major Arena 2. I know it's similar to the Master Clues for. Oh, I always forget something. All right, after I get the knife, we'll get back to it. But it's similar to. Uh, Hot and cold for master clues, where you gotta look around the wilderness in order to find who it is you need to kill. So, hopefully, it doesn't take me forever and I don't need to continuously bank before I actually kill since I got everything I need for at least one of the bosses right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is the last item to turn into collodion and should get the cape somehow. Oh. Go ahead and do the gothics one is what I'm going to go for now. Whoops. Hand it to him and view it and there we go. Got the first uh, cape completed. It's the only one I'm going to need for now actually. So how did I know it would have been that easy to go out there and kill these because I remember when it first came out it was actually quite difficult because their magic defense was ridiculously high would have done it a lot earlier but here's the difference on the stats got a extra five magic attack bonus five magic defense bonus one stab slash crush and the two percent magic damage extra so that'll be useful once I eventually make my way over to Zora along with a few other upgrades I want to Go ahead and get done before doing so. So next up on the pre zolra list, I want to get 87 Herblore. So that would allow me to make anti-venoms, which will make killing them a lot easier. I have all the herbs in the bank, but before I do that, I want to go ahead and knock out the Desert Heart, well, Easy, Medium, and Hard Diaries. Let's go ahead and take a look at the task here. I'll need to go ahead and complete Nakra's Laminate and kill a cow fight Queen. Those will be the longest two things here, but got an inventory of random stuff to go ahead and knock this stuff out with. That way I can go ahead and turn in all my herbs into unfinished potions without having to waste all my time to do them manually, which really this will probably be a lot faster than that anyway. And it'll be good in the long run. And that is quest completed. And with this, let's see, teleport. That leaves me only two things left on the diary. First of which would be collect five potato cactus in the Calphite hive and kill the Calphite queen. So I'm just going to go ahead and knock the two of those out together. All right, so here's the inventory I have. I'm going to take a sip of each of these potions before I teleport in and Here's the gear I'm going to give it an attempt with. So, go ahead and take each one of these and grab fresh food out. We'll see you there. For those who don't know the mechanics of the Calphite Queen, you face her in two forms. The first of which, she uses Protect from Magic and Range, and then the second, she has Protect from Melee. So unless you're bringing a Varrock set, it's in your best interest to use multiple combat styles. In both her forms, she uses a mage and range attack that hits with 100% accuracy, so it's in your best interest to protect against either one of those attack styles and tank the others. And in between hits, as you can see here, I step under her. That'll be my safe spot for healing after each attack. And typically for an Iron Man, you'll want to have this pulse killed by someone else before you try killing it, since there is a chance that somebody left a partial kill here. Then all your hard work will be for nothing, as you won't get credit for the kill. And as you can see right there, you can always teleport out and hurry back in to finish off the kill as long as nobody else comes in here to attack it. And that is, what? wait, almost all diaries complete. 
Just need to get this one last thing before she respawns. And that is diary complete. And I actually got a uh, decent reward out of that drop. Saves me from collecting 60 more of these in the wilderness. But let's go ahead and turn everything in and mark these as green. Alright, so I think it's Jars who I talked to here. Yep. Head easy's completed. Done. Got that. Medium's completed. Level 2 amulet. And here's my level 3 amulet. Go ahead and throw all this right here into Herblore. Alright. Quick Herblore experience. Now go ahead and take a look at my Herblore tab. So this is why I did the hard diary. So I can go ahead and turn all of these into un finished potions. So go ahead and all the herbs I want to go ahead and make into potions. I'm going to go ahead and pull out and then take there. Just leave one of each as a placeholder. And here we go. Let's go ahead and see what damage does to the cash stack. And oh, There we go. Holy crap. That was 3.6 mil gone and if I go over here and talk to Wesley, I'll go ahead and crush all these nests as well. Yep, 50 per. Yep, so that is 3.7 mil down for herb lore. But I'm going to go ahead and collect the items I need for it and go ahead and get making to the potions. And first herb lore level down with 81. Can now make brews without boosting for them. And 82 herb lore. And we can now make super weapon poison. So I've shown a similar method of collecting Mortmire fungus before, but now it's faster with the fairy ring portal in my house. And you can see the tile mark that I have on the screen where you should stand. By blooming in this spot, you'll get one to three fungi each time, and the northern one will always spawn. But you'll want to collect the southern two first, as it'll always put you back on this tile to cast bloom again. It's pretty simple, and I think you can collect up to 1,500 fungi per hour, so even as a non-Iron Man, it can be a decent money maker. And here is over 2,500 Mortmire fungus collected, and as you can see, it's worth a little over 2 mil. It took me just over 2 hours, I think, to collect all of it, which isn't too bad, and as you can see, like I said before, it can be a viable money maker. And 83 Herblore. We can now make magic mixes which will never be made on this account. Incoming 84 Herblore and the ability to make upgraded anti-fire potions. Might do that at some point. And here at 85 Herblore, we can now make yet another useless mix. And 86 Herblore and yet another mix. So that'll mark 87 Herblore, which is the goal I want it for the anti-venoms. But I still have a ton of potions still here. I was not expecting to be able to get that much experience, which I should be able to get at least level 88 if I sit here and go collect all the wines as a Marak. And then I also have some Marks of Grace I can turn into Amelies to make more stamina pots. So I got plenty more to get at least level 88 out of this. All right, and here's the Marks of Grace that we have, 285, which can go ahead and buy out. Amelie's packs. 2800, that'll be 2800 doses of stamina. Quite a bit for us. So I did decide to hold off on making the range of potions at this point since it would require me to telegrab all the wines as a Marak, and I'll wait until after I start Zora to go ahead and get more before I do that. But here's how the potion tab is currently looking. Got a massive amount in here, if you ask me, from where we started at. Almost at a thousand prayer pots. Super attacks will never be an issue. Uh, eventually I'll go ahead and make some super combat since I do have torsos here and I can boost to make those. The range pots will last me a little bit. Stamina's will go on forever because I still have 2,000 super energies. And the Sarah Brews and Super Restores looking pretty good for once I get the bosses as well. So I'm going to go ahead and tie up the video right here. I started putting all the clips together and didn't realize how many I had compiled, but we got quite a bit of a progress made on this account. I got the trident, 
the Mage Arena 2 cape, Desert Easy, Medium, Hard Diaries completed, and finished off with the ability to make anti-venoms. But, as always, I want to go ahead and thank you for watching the video, and hope to see you again in the next one.